What's up guys, we're back here on Black Ops Cold War Zombies. We have just about every melee weapon done here. I have the knife done, the sledgehammer, the wakasashi, the e-tool, the machete I recorded and I didn't really like how the video turned out so I scrapped it. And the last one we have to do is the baseball bat. Now the mace should be coming out soon and I mean really soon. It's supposed to be released this season and the season's coming to an end here. As you can see, we only have eight days left so it's gotta be coming out in the next few days. We might as well get all the melee weapons that are currently released, Dark Aether in preparation for the mace. So we're going with the bat and I have absolutely zero camos for this thing. So we're gonna go from absolutely nothing all the way to dark aether or the, that's gonna be the plan for today. Now, like in all the other melee weapon videos, I always forget some sort of camo. So I'm gonna go through and make sure I got them all down. 750 kills, easy, we can do that. 50 kills while they're stunned, distracted by the monkey bomb or decoy. 750 pack a punch kills, got it. 15 kills with the baseball bat while they're affected by frost blast, ring of fire or aether shroud. I think I'm gonna go with Ring of Fire this time because it might load up faster than Aether Shroud would. So we'll start with Ring of Fire, then maybe switch to Aether Shroud in the later rounds if we're struggling with Jackrabbit, but I think we have Jackrabbit down. And then 10 special or elite eliminations, we can definitely do that. 10 kills rapidly 10 times. I think for the Ballistic Knife, this was glitched and it said two kills rapidly 10 times. So we're definitely gonna have to get Shatter Blast for that. And then of course the Jackrabbit kills. So we got a lot to do here. Let's go ahead and hop in and start grinding this out. All right, my official first game with the baseball bat. This was one of my favorite weapons to use in multiplayer. It was actually it was actually probably the most fun grind I had getting something DM Ultra. And just all the little sound effects it has, the nice little the the clunk sound when you hit something and then the the crowd cheering. It's really cool. The one thing I hate about this weapon is the inspect. You don't even inspect it. You point forward, it's like a taunt. Like right here, it, you just point at it. You don't get to see any of the bat. That's pretty unfortunate. I you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the inspect. I think it's, you know, fun for multiplayer, you know, you can kind of like call your shot. Not good for getting a, a nice look at the weapon. The swing speed seems fine though. Definitely way faster than the sledgehammer. Still has that kind of overhead swing, which is still satisfying. So there's like, there's three different swings. You can go over the head, swing from the right, and swing from the left. Ooh, this thing's kind of got range. And we get our first jackrabbit medal. Still haven't been touched. Probably about to jinx that dodged it. All right, now that we got enough money, let's go to our Jackrabbit spot. If you guys haven't seen any of the other melee videos, we always run right over here. Grab our loose change from Speed Cola, and then we hop right up here on this electrical box and just get easy Jackrabbit kills. Come here. Bonk. Who's next? Take it. Enjoy it. There's a few zombies here, and I have a ring of fire ready. I know I don't necessarily need to use it, but it's for a challenge. There we go. Knocked out two camos with that one. And from what we've found from using all these melee weapons in these last few days is that we should just stay here till about round seven, eight, maybe. Then just go get everything pack-a-punched and we're ready to take on the Panzer. Oh no. You can't get up here. Not against Joe DiMaggio. And we're getting a camo out of it. Ooh, that was a nice little feed. And another Jackrabbit medal. Basically, Jackrabbit medals are like critical kills for any other weapon. This is like, Jackrabbit is definitely the hardest thing to do for melees, but we have it down to a science for sure. I'm actually excited to see what this thing looks like with Pack-a-Punch camos. I hope they didn't do it dirty. Because a lot of the camos on the baseball bat are all really like worn. Like they all have like some sort of wear on them. Also, max ammo, we're safe. Wait, hold on. Hit the ring of fire. But as I was saying, I think the only camo for this weapon that isn't worn is Diamond and Plague Diamond. I think even Dark Aether has some wear on it. I could be wrong. But with these Pack-a-Punch camos, hopefully it covers the entire thing. All right, we'll stay here for one last round. Oh, another max ammo. They're really blessing us today. Come on, 360. <laughs> oh, and for the Jackrabbit, let's go. We're insane. There we go. Hey, we got an acidic camo. Did he just grab the double points for me? Is that what just happened? All right, round eight. Let's get out of here. You guys ever just run in games and look down at your feet? It looks goofy as hell. Where are you at, Tempest? Are you inside? Yeah, you are. No. Pick up the fuse. I hate this. This happened last time too. I don't know what it is, but whenever it spawns in here, I can never pick up this fuse. There we go. You know what? While we're at it, we might as well try to get a stun kill. And Ring of Fire. I did not want to hit that nuke, but I guess that's what we're going with. All right, either way, picked up a few camos there. Not bad. Oh, we don't have enough time to beat it across. Don't take that out of context. Grab this loose change. 
Beat that zombie over the head. He didn't deserve that. Fuse is in. Oh, there's Tempest number two. Beat him over the head. Got him. Oh, wait, what? He survived? Spoke too soon. This pet is so satisfying, though. It's almost as satisfying as it is in multiplayer. All right, let's get Pack-A-Punch started. Bro, the machine's all broken. Who did that? I think I'm gonna go after all the zombies before going after the disciple, but I might change my mind because these zombies are a little stronger. I just want a little extra progress towards Camos. Um, I'll just hit him a little bit. Okay, now I'm just hit markering these zombies. And he's hurting me. All right, killed them. Take out these zombies before they knock me. Perfect. Ooh, and they gave me a stun for it. Let's check out Pack-A-Punch. Put Shatter Blast on. And I can't really inspect it, but the handle is all red, and you can see the top of it does have the Pack-A-Punch camo. Good coverage on it. Just wish I could get a better look at it. All right, in the round we've all been waiting for, here comes a Panzer. I need to upgrade this. Ooh, what? Okay, maybe that's how we can inspect it. There's a whole inspect animation when you upgrade the weapon. Okay, it was only a four-shot kill for that Panzer. Maybe it was five? I don't know. Math's not my strong suit, but that still was not bad. All right, we have a ring of fire and a stun. I'm gonna run around in a circle here for a second. Get them all corralled. No golden. All right, stun them. Ring of fire. Let's get it done. Oh, that was perfect. I think we just got like three different things done there. Yeah, yeah. That's like three camos at least. And a level. We're crazy. What a play. I should probably buy a perk before uh, things get hairy here. I'll get Jug and Quick Revive and Stamina Up. What else should I get? I think that's it. I could get Elemental, but I don't need that yet. Oh, Disciple. Bonked. We're getting Jackrabbit kills the old-fashioned way. Let's go. This is nice. The, the swing speed on the bat is actually not too awful. It's not the fastest, but it's like that middle ground between like E-Tool and Sledgehammer. Ooh. Dude, we're actually kind of schmoving on them. All right, let's buy a few stuns so we can get that challenge done. Let's head back up to our spot. Toss a stun. Get a few stun kills in. Do another one. All right, and then we can ring a fire. There's a big delay using ring of fire and trying to swing a bat. And they spawned a nuke right on me. That's really unfortunate. But so far, so good. I think we're making really good progress on our camos. Dude, disciples just ruined jackrabbit kills. But at least they helped me out with elites. Oh, thank God. Max ammo. Oh, there's a crawler. These crawlers are going to be a death of me. All right, we have enough to get a pack punch too, so let's go ahead and get it. It's got a nice green handle. Pretty good. It looks like the coverage is fine on this. Can we upgrade it at all? We'll have to come back and be ready when we go to upgrade it. That way we can see that that little animation for it. So I, I wonder if like Jose Canseco is using ammo mods on his bat. Using my ring of fire. Let's get these camos done. There's a huge delay when we use Ring of Fire trying to swing this, which is very unfortunate. All right, I really, I need to focus on these Ring of Fire kills because I want to get to the point where I can switch to Toxic Growth and then do my Jackrabbit strat up here. And then we can just fly through these camos. Still, one thing I really wish they would add to COD is a little thing like in your pause menu or something where you can check on your camo progress. So that way you don't have to like kind of guess where you're at with like very specific challenges like you can manage where you're at for like crits and and you know just kills in general but these weird ones like get 10 kills rapidly or kill this many elites or even things like jackrabbit you have no idea where you're at until you leave the game we have a ring of fire i'm just gonna go down here and loop and then we can do our stun ring of fire again Okay, got a camo for that. Ooh, and a max ammo. Perfect. All right, let's stun. Ring of fire. Go in on him. Ooh, shatter blast went off too. Perfect. There we go. We're a quarter of the way there on our pack-a-punch kills. All right, we have enough salvage to upgrade this again. Let's see if we can catch the animation. Ooh, there it is. See, I don't understand why that's not an animation you can just choose from your wheel. Like, why is it just throwing out the finger? I want to be able to, to actually look at my bat, you know? All right, here's what we're going to do for this. We're going to get a jackrabbit medal done, and we're going to get a distracted camo done. So I'm going to swing around here, make sure we get a nice big group. I'm going to throw the decoy, and then I should be able to shatter blast them and get enough done for it to be a jackrabbit. At least that's the plan. Okay, this looks like plenty. Let me just get them to a good spot. Come on, shatter blast. There it is. Perfect. Yep, that was a jackrabbit medal. Did we get the distracted one though? No, but we definitely got progress towards it. Either that or we're already done with it. And ring of fire. Let's go ahead and just pop it. It feels so weird using ring of fire and not shooting in it. We're literally five points away from being able to get this pack of punch three. That's so unfortunate. No, 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 no. Okay, help me up. Oh, I can use the bat on the ground. That's sick. We still don't have enough to get pack punch three. I, I had to go ahead and get some perks back. We should be able to get it after this round though. Oh, we can get it right now. I'm gonna wait till all these tormentors are done though. 
All right, here's Pack-A-Punch 3. I know you can't really see it, so I apologize, but the whole handle is gold. Whole top's got that Pack-A-Punch 3. Nice moving camo. It still looks pretty good regardless of the of the awful inspect for it. Do I have enough for a decoy? I do. Perfect. Toss it out. Shatter Bass, please. Let's go. And I'll hit the nuke on it just for added effect. Was that a Jackrabbit medal though? I feel like I got hit like right in the middle of that. That's unfortunate. All right, we have a ring of fire. I'm gonna use it up here. Hopefully we don't go down again. Once I see him start climbing over, I'm hitting it. There we go, Shatter Blast, perfect. Awesome. I don't know why we still don't have that camo. Are we are we done with that camo? I don't know what's going on, but I think it's time we put on elemental pop. And I think I'm gonna do one more ring of fire. See if we get a camo out of it. And if we don't, I'm gonna switch to toxic growth. So I feel like we definitely have the final camo for it. All right, ring of fire is ready. Let's use it. Swing, please. Oh, perfect. Not perfect. No, come on. There we go. Let me buy quick revive back. I also need elemental pop back. And now we're broke. I'll set that right there. There's no way a zombie's walking around that. Ooh, no way they're walking around that Shatter Blast either. Oh, last guy, bonk. I just need to save up for two more. I'm gonna put one here and here, and then we'll be all set. Oh, there's our rotten camo. Okay, let's put our other bush down there. Now we can kind of just camp right here with these two blocking us. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, of course they break it. Oh, this is fucked. I need to leave. It's harder to get it set up later rounds. I think last time we had it set up like right away and we were just chilling on jackrabbits. Now I, I can't earn them fast enough. Let's throw a decoy. Come on, Shatter Blast. Oh, we unlocked the Wakasashi as if we didn't already have it. Okay, we got another camo there, the boundary camo. I don't know if that's the last one or not. So we should probably do more. I think we need to get to 50 actually. Let's grab a few stuns. All right, now we have enough toxic growth to set up here. So we'll do that. Put another one like right here in the middle. I'm also gonna grab Mule Kick. All right, let's see how this strat works here on round 28. I think the bushes are definitely gonna go by a lot faster than they would at earlier rounds, but it'll buy us some time to get some jackrabbit kills. Oh my God. Okay, maybe it doesn't work so well leaning over the edge, but sitting back here is doing all right. Okay, there we go. Yeah, we just need 10 more of those. There's our chemical camo. We're all done with pack-a-punch kills. We are like out of toxic growth though. And I don't know if we have jackrabbits done. There we go. We got that all done. Oh my God, hit the zip line, please. Oh, now I'm gonna try to do it down here. I definitely put this toxic growth way too far back. I might screw myself here. Let's stun these guys. Oh yeah, the toxic growth's already gone. Stun them again. Another stun. All right, now we're out of stuns. We need to leave. Go. All right, we've made it back up. Let's try that again. But this time I'm putting the toxic growth a little further back, like right here. I just gotta swing from super far back. Oh, come on. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade our weapon. Uh-oh, that turret's pissed. And I, I missed the animation there too. But this is getting tough now. It's round 30. We aren't getting as many jackrabbits as we thought we would. So it's a little unfortunate, but we're still chugging along. Show me Shatter Blast. Right about now, Shatter Blast, please. Shatter Blast and Shatter Blast. Right here, right now. Nope, dead wire. Shatter Blast. There it is. Now let's do this. Come on back. Oh my God. They destroyed that so fast. We got a Jackrabbit medal out of it. What are we missing? I feel like we really didn't finish our like Aether Shroud or Ring of Fire ones. Maybe I should switch back. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Aether Shroud just in case that's what we're missing. Cause we have all of our, all of our normal kills done. We might have our Pack-A-Punch kills done. I don't remember. We have all of our stunned and distracted kills. Maybe we don't have all of our rapid kills. Toss that down. Shatter Blast, please. There we go. Okay, there's no way. That's another Jackrabbit. Oh, there it is. There's Gold Viper. Finally, we got it. And it's round 32, and I'm not about to wait till next exfil. So I'm just gonna stand right here, and when I die, I die. Okay, I died. Can I get a self-revive off? Just hit firing here. Come here. Come here, Mangler. You want the bat? Huh? You want the bat? It's not Pack-a-Punch. Oh, shit. I still got him, though. All right, now it's my last stand. I'm gonna stand right in this corner. Come and get me. Okay, now it's over. It's actually over. I went down seven times. Two of those were intentional, to be fair, but we st we were kind of struggling a bit. It took us only 30 rounds though to get this thing Dark Aether. All right, this is what the bat looks like with Gold Viper. And you can kind of see here what I'm talking about where the camo is worn. I don't know why they did that, especially for a finishing camo here, a mastery camo. It, it just, they somehow made Gold Viper look even worse. Plague Diamond though is clean, super, super clean. And I guess for Dark Aether, they didn't screw 
scrape it up at all. It looks really nice. A whole lot of area to see that camo on it, but the inspect in game is awful, but we'll go check it out in game anyways. All right, this is what the bat looks like in game. Obviously the inspect doesn't show you a whole lot, but I still think it looks pretty good. Maybe you can see it a little better in one of these swings. You just, uh, you just zone in, but it does look really good. Uh, again, I, I'm really disappointed with the inspect, but what can you do? But anyways, I think I'm going to end the video there. If you guys like this and you want to see more, make sure you leave a like on it. And if you didn't, you don't dislike. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. We put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. And that's going to be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.